What's up y'all from the jungles of Panama? Today's transmission is five steps to loving yourself 100%. Now let me first say that the journey to self-love, the journey home to the self, starts and ends with understanding that you are the author of the script that you're living. That the world you view outside is the world that's happening inside. And it's all a reflection. So step number one to loving yourself fully, to self-love, is acceptance. You see, you must accept your big nose, your fat lips, your kinky hair, your straight hair, your curly hair, your funny snort when you laugh, your, your quirks, all of that stuff. It starts with acceptance, accepting what is. Because a lot of people get in trouble with this one because they want what their neighbor has. They want a straighter nose like John, or they want um, bigger boobs like Chrissy, or they want a bigger house like, like Ted. And these names are funny, by the way. <laughs> Um, but they want their neighbor stuff. Therefore, they're in resistance to what is. So step number one is acceptance. Accept all of that, all of that, that crazy stuff, right? I used to think I was nuts for having all of this energy. And as I've stepped into the journey of self-love, of taking the, the time to be with me, I love that I'm nuts, right? Which brings me to step number two, which is embrace it all. Now, acceptance is just an acceptance of what is. Embracing it is about gratitude. It's about using it. Now we all, and I'm sure it, you may be one of these, you may be this person I'm talking about. We all know somebody who thinks they could dance, but they can't, but they embrace it. They go in, they be in the club going hard, right? And everybody's laughing, but at the same time, it puts a smile on our faces, right? And we go, wow, whenever he's on, whenever she's on, I want some of that. Why? Because that person is embracing what is. When you embrace your weirdness, your craziness, when you embrace your quirks, your, your funny little things that you do, the biting of your nails and all of that stuff, when you embrace who you be, that is laced with gratitude. And gratitude is, is a Molotov cocktail of goodness to the cells, to the body to the soul. Right now I'm in Isla Bastimentos in Panama. And for those of you who've traveled and been to some of the quote unquote poorest places in the world, you'll, you'll attest to this, that some people who have, you know, what we would call nothing, embrace what they do have. I was in Tanzania and they started singing this song, Asante, Asana, Asante, Asante, Sana. And when I tell you, it moved through the ground and through me. Why? Because they were embracing the magic of the day. They were embracing the magic of their voice. They were embracing the magic of their bodies and dancing in the sweltering heat. So if you do nothing else, embrace, embrace, embrace. Now step number three to loving yourself fully is follow your bliss. Do what makes you happy. Follow that heart of yours. It is the most gangsterous, amazing GPS system on the planet. And if you just listen to that, whatever it is, it could be, you could be in a pink elephants, you could be in the motorcycles, you could be into real estate, whatever it is. If you follow that, it will make room for you. It will make room for you. As soon as I got that principle and started giving my gift on YouTube and everywhere else I could go, it made room for me. A lot of people are, do these standard jobs all the time and they're like, oh, well, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer or a doctor and not like there's anything wrong with being a lawyer or a doctor. But when you follow your bliss, then you're not living anyone else's life. I talk to people all the time who are living their parents' life. Like, let that land. They're living the life that their parents want them to live. And they get to 30, 40 and go, whoa, what did I do? You have an opportunity right now, no matter where you are in your life. And you, that doesn't mean quitting your job, doesn't mean any of that stuff. You get to follow your bliss. You get to do what makes your heart smile. Step number four 
is responsibility. You are the author, the author of the script that you are living. Everything you're experiencing is a reflection of your inner world. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So when you take responsibility for everything that is happening in your life, nobody else has your power. You see, the man that broke up with you, he doesn't have your power. That dis-ease that you got doesn't have your power. That loan that you can't pay off doesn't have your power. Why? Because you created it. Guys, if you get this, and this is huge, this one is ginormous. That means that nothing is outside of you. When you take responsibility for your life and say, everything I'm experiencing I caused or I allowed, that is a deep version of self-love. Which brings me to step number five. And that is to celebrate everything. Celebrate the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, the ins, the outs, everything that is happening in your life. You get to celebrate it. Because in our society, we've been taught that it's all about the destination, but in truth, it's about the journey. It's about the scrapes and the falls and getting into the mud. It's about living this life to the fullest. So you get to celebrate all of it. Now, all of this may seem foreign to you. And if it is, and if it sounds untrue, and you say, well, Preston, I don't want to lie. I don't really love myself right now. I don't, I don't really embrace myself. I don't really take responsibility, then do this. Start to say the words and do the actions. Say the words, do the actions that are in alignment with the life you're calling in. And I promise you, because life is a practice. Whatever you practice more of, you get more of. And I promise you, if you, if you do those two things, the rest will flow perfectly. Guys, we're all on a journey home to the self. And we're all doing this thing called life and to our very last breath. So you're not gonna always get it right. It's not gonna always be perfect. I love you guys so much. I'm so appreciative. If you're on YouTube and you're new to the family, click subscribe. If you're on Facebook, leave a comment, tag somebody and share this message. If you're on Instagram, Twitter, or any of the other stuff that's out there on the planet, share this message. I love you guys so much. Blessings and blessings from Isla Bastimentos and Panama. Oh, I want this powerful, beautiful man or this, this, this sexy, attractive woman who's confident and smart and all of these things, but they are sharing themselves with somebody who is not that. And energetically, you can only attract who and what you are. So if you are sharing your body, be discerning about who you do that.